both of these South African dynamos have careers in overdrive. Terry recently won Best Supporting Actress at the UK National Film Awards for her role in a United Kingdom, and she's endorsing a famous watch brand. Mampo is flying high as the lead villain in an essay soapy, and somehow they've found time to start a business together. Terry Mampo, how did the pair of you meet? <sighs> we met at work on uh, Jacob's Cross set. We knew of each other, we had never met before, and we just started talking about the simple things in life, like being Bond girls. And it was kismet, you know, we just um, fell in love, and the rest is history. What is it about your friendship that keeps it going, that's special? Us. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm a catch. You're such a catch, babe. You're such a catch, like, best wife ever. Um, I think it's how we communicate, how we fight. It's how we support each other, how we encourage each other, how we see the world. Not always in the same you know, way. No. We, we fight a lot, by the way. We disagree a lot. But what's special is that we know we can always trust each other. Yeah. And like any other relationship, like friendship is the same. Now, Terry, you have a very important series coming up, and that is Madiba. Yay! Tell us about the experience of being on the film set of Madiba. I shot it last year. My diva, I play Winnie Mandela, and I've won a couple of awards and got a couple Yay. of international nominations. And for me, it's so special to finally play the icon that I've always admired. And there's a lot of responsibility that comes with that. And so the approach is very important. And for me, it was a humbling experience more than anything. So how did you prepare for the role? Preparation started you know a long time ago i think even when i was a child because winnie mandela was always my mom's role model so i think it started there and obviously there's so much content i watched every documentary i could find i read every book i could find and you have to do the research and it helped also work with a great teacher and mentor and a father figure in a way, Lawrence Fishburne, even though he played my husband. <laughs> that was, you know, he's such, he's such a great human being. And I love that everyone who was part of, especially the international cast, understood how important this was to us. Do you two share acting notes? Of course, we yeah. Have to. Uh, <laughs> I just shot a short miniseries too, and I was kind of terrified because it's a completely different genre to what I'm used to or what I've ever done before. So I would call her and be like, oh, buddy, what do you think? Uh, do you want to read with me? And one sometimes would, we take one... acting classes together. Yeah. And we've done that all over the world. We've done that all the over US the world, yeah. there. Why is education so important to you? For me personally, it was about my immediate influence, my late mom, who was such an educator herself, who believed in the process of enriching your mind and knowing that you never stop. And that is education. And how do you navigate the trust in your business relationship? I let her count. <laughs> I, I deal with, with the numbers <laughs> and the money, yeah. um, but because we're friends and we're so close, we don't want to deal with the legalities and stuff. Let's yeah. get the right people to deal with that so that that part is done. So yeah. should anything happen to you or me or we decide, actually, um, I mean, I'm going to travel for eight months. I'm not going to be around. You'll take care of business. To see their new range of toys making a difference, we joined these educational entrepreneurs at Save the Children South Africa's Early Childhood Development Center in Alexandra. The reaction of the kids spoke like this with your toys. How do you feel? Yeah, it's really nice seeing it come alive and how the children interpret the toys and how they're well received and the enthusiasm around them. So it's, it's pretty special. So why did you decide on educational toys? It only made sense when we started having kids. Well, she had a kid and I was a godparent. And now we're spending more time with the child. And we obviously want to give them the best of everything. Um, and education is a tool that no one can take from you. So we knew that we wanted to cover, um, you know, gross motor skills, fine motor skills. I want your child to be able to identify shapes and colors, be able to hold a pair of scissors, be able to, to be creative. So we wanted to cover basically everything that will make a very smart individual and give them the tools to not only learn, but also to play. And for me also as, as an ambassador for Save the Children, this is a gift that I can actually, like something tangible, but I know it goes a long way. What is your long-term vision for your educational toy business? We want to conquer the world, you know. Um, 
one child at a time, it takes a village. And so we want to make sure that that spreads. I think the beauty about the offering that we have is you're able to identify if there are any problems uh, with communication or if they're struggling in a particular area. So you're being involved in their um, educational development and we want to encourage that. The business is a natural fit for friends to whom learning while playing is central to their profession. With success, they've lost none of their fun, childlike fascination with the world and it's a wonderful way to grow up.